District and welcome to Chill Saturday. So what I wanted to do today is something different. I'm going to be creating a chill song and I'm going to do it semi-live. Um, so I'm going to just have the camera on. I'm going to be creating and just kind of walk through my process. I'll show you the screen as well. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. Um, my very first thing is I wanted to do like some piano, so um, I pulled out the keyscape. Uh, let me find the pedal here. I like to use the dampening pedal sometimes just for sustain. Um, either like a chord pattern or a melody um, something that I can kind of lock on to that sounds good once I've figured that out in my head um, then I can like record the pattern um, I'm kind of leaning towards this right here <laughs> for it so that's what I'm doing so later so as you can see sometimes melodies are not 
just instantaneous. Sometimes it just comes from playing. Um, and sometimes I'll spend a few minutes trying to fiddle around with something before I come up with a, a solid mel melody. So. Sometimes I start out with a pattern and end up with something else, and that's just how it goes. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we are going. To knock that down, and I think I started kind of off so.
why I'm just really eh, kind of hooked on counter melodies. I like them. I like them. I hear them in my head all the time. Um, so it's easy for me to come up with a counter melody. this one and let's see tinker around for a minute so I think I want to try like an old school Casio sound and let me see if I can find a decent pad sound um, from this thing um, it's not known for pads it's a yeah it's known for that <laughs> sounding and let me get the latency out of this so I still struggle with latency Thank you. 
a sub. That's the other thing, I gotta find a sub. So, let me see. I guess we could do the sub next. Okay, come on, work with me here. Close that. Alright. So, I have been using Simpler and just using. is trying to find a pattern. something crazy. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. like I overdid it though, but we'll see.
Okay, now let's see what I want to do for drums. I think I just want to do a basic kick and a snare. And maybe add a little some hi hats in there. Let's see if I can find. Uh, let's see. A kick and a snare and a kick and a snare and a kick and a snare. Let me think where I want to get the kick and a snare from. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull in the NPC. Okay, we're getting it out of that mode. is a little
issues fine and a good kid. Figuring out a good pattern too is an issue. Yeah, I can live with that one. All right, uh, let me get this out of the way. together and we're going to call this our drum group and we are going to drop in some drum sauce which is our slates virtual mix rack and we're going to drop in a nice little polisher on top of it and that's been sounding pretty decent so I'm pretty happy with it um, and I'll balance everything out here at the end here. And then the next part of this, I probably won't film all of this because uh, then it gets really redundant. Um, so the actual arrangement of everything, I'll arrange it. So this is really my song process I use. That's why I love Ableton. It's just really straightforward. I can just record in my little parts and just start taking the parts and putting them into an arrangement and boom I got a song that's pretty much it um, I've been working with samples a little bit more lately 
um, just, you know, working them into my workflow. So um, I, I use the same methodology. I use a lot of counter melodies against each other. Um, and I do realize I need to calm down sometimes <laughs> and not have as many going because you got to leave room for the vocalist. And on a lot of the songs that I've been creating over the past few months, I have done that. So I know when when too much is, an, is too much now, uh, whereas before I was just being way too musical. Um, and I'm not saying that today's music is not musical. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that um, having one melody playing and then having just the vocalist to back it up is cool. Um, but having some more things in there um, to kind of act as a backbone to it sounds good too so all right so let me bring in that drum bus mix polisher and let's see what that does for the drums that should shiny them up a little bit and let's see inserted something that I wasn't supposed to. Okay, let's see, undo change, and then undo groove tracks, and wow, I did something else, really? Undo the Oh, wow, you gotta be kidding me. I deleted something. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't delete that. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so let me try that again. Wow. Okay, group them again. Um, this is why I love Ableton, because if you goof up, you can pretty much get out of it. Um, so I accidentally deleted my drums for some weird reason. I don't know how that happened. Um, I wasn't trying to do that on purpose. Um, so let me, I regrouped them and now let's see. gonna go skip ahead here and arrange everything and I'm gonna put it like a little video together with the song um, well I hope you've enjoyed this one this is a little different for me um, so I'm, I'll be doing more videos like this I'm um, just kind of showing my process um, I don't know some people may think I'm using 
uh, loops for everything and I'm not. Uh, I play a lot of the things that I'm bringing into my tracks. Um, just want to demystify some of the uh, the things that people may have concepts about what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not a cheater <laughs> uh, by no means. Um, and using loops doesn't make you a cheater. Um, I, I do know how to play. Um, and when I do use uh, loops, I, I use them um, in a musical way. Um, and it's because I have some playing skill behind what I'm doing. Um, and I'm not saying that everybody else doesn't. It just means that I've discovered um, through my own um, playing and building tracks that the advantages that I feel that I have have come from my struggle with theory. Um, theory is really tough for all of us and it's just, it is what it is. The more theory that you have under your belt, the easier it becomes. Um, I, I hate it. <laughs> I'm not sitting here trying to write out notes for everything. As you can see, um, I'll sit and I'll tinker around and try to come up with melodies. It may take me a while. And as you can see, it does take a while sometimes. Um, some days I'm more musical than others. Um, if I've been sitting and listening to a lot of music, um, um, like through the week, then sometimes I'll sit down and I'll come up with a melody fairly quickly. And it's not that I'm like uh, interpolating somebody else's stuff. I definitely make sure that I'm not doing that. Um, but listening to lots of music really does help to... to uh, Kind of jar loose your own musical ideas. I guess that's uh, that's what I'm looking for. Um, at least that's what I found for myself personally. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm better than everybody else. By no means. Um, I'm a work in progress just like everybody else. Um, and I don't want people to think um, coming off that way. Um, by no means. Um, I feel very confident in what I'm doing. And that's basically what I want to um, reflect in these videos is that I have more I have confidence in what I'm doing and I'm pretty happy with the direction that I've been going um, over the past few years and I feel I'm getting even stronger as a musician um, and I think that's a good thing um, I'll I'm, I've been messing around with guitar a lot more and I feel that that's another good direction that I've been going. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do and I've just had the opportunity to do it as of late, being able to buy a guitar and I actually took lessons for, I want to say either six or seven months or something like that. And I just wasn't really happy with the lessons because while everybody says, or people say that it doesn't matter what genre of music that you learn, um, or that they're teaching you, you could still pick up and um, do your own things with it. But I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, the styles that I've been wanting to learn have been like neo soul and R and B, um, those styles. And it's really hard finding training material that focus on that. And while I do know a lot of the chords that are in that those particular genres on the piano and I can play them and, and I'm okay with it. Learning them on the guitar is a little different because it's not like the piano fret key, p can't piano keyboard where, um, you know, the, where the notes lie and, and exactly how to do them with your fingers. Um, it's a little different with guitar. The fretboard is kind of all over the place. Um, and trying to master the chords and how to form them and make them sound good. Um, on the guitar is, is difficult, um, or at least is for me right now. Um, so I'm getting there. I'm feeling more comfortable with it. I think the more comfortable I get with it, the easier it'll get for me. Um, and I'll be able to transfer my existing theory to the guitar and it'll, it'll just work out for me. But for right now, I'll continue to work on it. It makes your fingers raw as all outdoors um, I try to practice as much as I can but it's like you always live with your fingers being raw and swollen all the time when you're playing all the time and it's a real pain in the butt um, so it's a struggle 
Um, but playing piano, I've not had that issue with it. Um, I can be a little bit more flexible with my playing if I want it to be. Um, and I've been working on it a little bit more too, just really trying to switch up my chord pattern some. Uh, again, I think because I've played for a while, I'm more adjusted to going to the same keys and scales and stuff. So I've been really forcing myself out of the box um, by listening to a lot of different things that are not in that key and really experimenting and stretching. So uh, I say all of this to say is that being a musician and musicianship requires practice. And if you don't practice, you don't get better. Um, so that's just way the way it is. And I am practicing and continue to practice. Uh, I haven't been, I haven't been creating songs every day like I had been since the beginning of the quarantine stuff. Um, I kind of slowed down because I felt like I was, um, I was doing it too much. <laughs> um, and I, I, I was not, I was having issues with melodies. Um, but what I found is after I took a little bit of break, like a couple of days and came back to it. I feel a little bit better with my melody so um, that is all I have for now I'll see you guys on the next one